Welcome back to Houston Life. From date night to dinner with friends, McCormick and Schmicks offers a taste for every table. Yeah, they've got three locations in the Houston area, downtown, which is where Brandon and I frequent, <laughs> uh, Uptown Park, also town and country. And our Landry's Chef Series continues with the executive chef from McCormick and Schmicks, Tim Eckerd, and also sous chef Patrick Dow. Welcome to Houston Life. It's great to see you, gentlemen. Thanks well, for thank stopping you. by. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Okay, just the name alone, McCormick and Schmicks, I mean, people think of this as upscale. I mean, there's a little bit of pressure when you're responsible for the menu items, I can imagine, right? So how do you approach uh, your job? Explain to us, if you're tasked with creating a new dish, what's the process like, Tim? I mean, the process for creating a new dish is, is really kind of seeing what's in season, um, what's trending, what's sustainable, um, and then just taking it piece by piece. Um, what we want to do is it an appetizer, an entree, a dessert, right? Um, they all have different uh, kind of focal points that we're looking at. Um, and you really just want to look for colors, textures, um, and flavors, right? Yeah. What people are going to be, be into. You get people to taste them, make sure that, you know, your palate's not off and and that everyone enjoys it, and hopefully it'll be a, a good seller. You do a beautiful job. You really do. And it is National Seafood Month, so seafood is tricky because if it's bad, it can be, like, awful. You guys really focus on freshness, on sustainability. How do you do that? How do you go about that at McCormick & Schmicks? So the key is purchasing smaller amounts, right, smaller amounts more often, um, using the right purveyors, making sure that, that they're getting the correct fish in, you know, that it's a long line caught, that it's sustainable, you know, whenever possible, um, and use the, the best quality available. I love hearing that because I think uh, as consumers, as customers, we want to have a little look inside the kitchen. We want to know where our food is coming from. Patrick, by the way, is building this beautiful seafood tower. There are a lot of seafood towers in town. What makes yours a little bit different? I mean, ours is, is focused on the classics, right? I think it's a, a great value for what you're getting. Uh, oysters on the half shell. We've got uh, eight to 10 ounce uh, warm water lobster tail coming out of Australia. That's succulent and delicious. Um, shrimp cocktail, these are wild from the Gulf. Wow. Uh, there is a king salmon lomi lomi on there, which is a, a quick cure. It gets a little agua de chile, pineapple jicama salsa. Wow. And then there is also a little bit of tuna tartare, uh, cocktail sauce, house made pomegranate mignonette, and some yuzu jalapeno granita. Okay, this yes. is beautiful. And I can tell that Tessa is restraining herself <laughs> right now. A seafood I'm tower is her jam. It really okay, is. Okay, how does this rank, Tessa, compared to the seafood towers you typically enjoy? Well, this is this is beautiful, and I'll tell you what, it's all about the presentation. You want, I mean, when you say a tower, you want it in the levels. You want bright seafood. I love the little, the smaller oysters. I just feel like the kelp, everything's a vibe. I literally have a shirt with a seafood tower on it. And um, yeah, She's you eat, you eat awesome. a seafood tower with your eyes first. So it's important that it's it's beautiful. And it's something that when it's brought to the table, it's, um, you know, it's impressive. It's, mm -hmm. I don't know, it, it's everything I want to be. See, and what's fascinating. <laughs> every... I, I, I found out my Halloween costume. Oh, uh, a seafood tower would be perfect. <laughs> well, and Patrick is doing such a great job assembling this. Tim, I feel like you and Patrick both, I know you went to chef school, culinary school, all of that. There is such artistry that goes into the work you do every single day. And as Tessa just mentioned, we always eat with our eyes first. And these completed dishes here, I believe this is the tuna tartare, right? Yes, sir. This is a great example of, I mean, it's a work of art. Yeah. You want to take us through the dishes real quick, the yeah. ones that you brought before we get into the yeah, demo? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So our tuna tartare, uh, this is long line tuna coming from Hawaii. It's number one. Uh, it's tossed with a little bit of pineapple, wakame seaweed, uh, Thai chili, Beautiful. cilantro. There's avocado underneath and avocado wakame puree around. We do a little thin sliced radish and carrot on top for a little bit of texture. And there's some local microgreens and then uh, shrimp crackers on the side. Oh my yeah. gosh, they're beautiful. So this is our new wedge salad. Uh, this is one of my favorites on the menu. It's a take on a classic, right? We use a uh, house buttermilk dressing instead of your blue cheese dressing. That is classic. We do gorgonzola over that, candied bacon with black pepper, uh, heirloom tomatoes, pickled mustard seed, and radish to finish. Yeah. Okay, I've never seen a wedge salad quite like that. I mean, this is a really cool interpretation of, as you mentioned, a classic a lot of people are familiar with. The candied bacon takes it over the top. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's to die for. So good. Uh, this is our RC Ranch Wagyu Carpaccio. So RC Ranch, they raise uh, Wagyu cattle in Texas. Uh, this is the Eye of Round. It has a nori and black garlic crust on the outside. It's been seared just very quickly and hot. 
uh, shaved thin. It has pickled mustard seed, uh, arugula, pickled red onion, Parmesan Reggiano, and a black truffle aioli. Wow, Yum. beautiful. Okay. Now we have a little bit of time for a demo, so whatever you need us to do, let's do it. <laughs> So right here we have all our ingredients, right? So if you take this bowl okay. and you just add in your tuna. Okay, ooh, look how beautiful that beautiful. is. Beautiful. Okay. You're gonna add in your uh, pineapple wakame Thai chili mix. Go ahead and add it in there. Okay. Give it a good mix. But these are so thinly sliced, these other ingredients. What do you have here, radish, carrot? That's radish and carrots, yes sir. Wow. Three different kinds of radish. How do you get them so thin? Use like a mandolin? Use a mandolin, yep. Okay. Ice water. Now you're some... preparing the plate, sorry to jump in. W what are you preparing on that plate? So that's our avocado wakame puree. Okay. So in the center of that, oh. we're going to add our avocado. I'll do it, chef. Mm-hmm. Yes, chef. You're up. Got it, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're using you're gonna take this little guide. plunger, kind of push it down, make sure it's compact. Oh, this is what I Very need. Clever. Give it a little twist, a little and then come out. Okay. And then next, in with your. Oh, excuse me. You have pineapple ponzu right here. Okay. So this is a uh, pineapple ponzu that we make in house. It's a soy sauce with um, citrus marinated into it, and then pineapple pureed into it. Okay, and then I'm doing this yep, in here. Yep, go ahead and add it in. Okay. I love learning these little chef secrets, too. I, I mean, you can tell the presentation really is paramount in McCormick and Schmick's. Great, I dropped a piece of tuna. Uh oh, don't worry. That's okay, it's no okay. one can it. doesn't see have it. to be perfect. Okay. Perfect is boring. You're gonna take right? your okay. plunger, press it down. Okay. Okay. Yep. Look at that. I usually leave the pr plunger right on top. Oh, okay. As you lift, and then lift up from the side. Oh, lift the whole thing. Okay. Okay, moment of truth, here's the big reveal. I'm scared. Oh, wow. I am such a good chef. That is gorgeous. <laughs> okay, now that's great. Listen, that's nicer than some I've seen for okay, sure. Okay, okay. So then we get a little bit of radish and baby carrot right over the top, okay. maybe three pieces each. I'll do it with me. There you yeah, go. There we mm -hmm. go. Those tiny little carrots. By the way, you know what I love about this time of year? Being able to dine outside in Houston, and I know our, the Green Street location downtown, we sit out there on that patio. Mm -hmm. It's perfect this time of year, but also if people are throwing parties, you have private banquet rooms, dining areas where you could throw a corporate party or... We do. We have uh, banquet spaces in every location. We have three locations in Houston, uh, one town and country boulevard, one uptown park is where I'm at, and then there's the downtown location on Fannin Street. Very cool. Very All cool. equally delicious. Uh, Tim Eckert, Pac Patrick Dow, beautiful job on that seafood tower. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, by the way, you can make your reservations online, McCormickandschmicks.com. And while you're online, don't forget to enter daily for your chance to win a $200 Landry's gift card. This week's winner is Drumroll. Drum roll. Ardelia F. of Houston. Congratulations, Ardelia F. of Houston. A member of our team will be reaching out to you this afternoon so you can claim your prize. And a reminder, every single week, we will be highlighting a different Landry's restaurant and chef. We'll also be giving away more $200 Landry's gift cards. But you know the drill. You have to be a KPRC2 insider for your chance to win. It's free to join. Insiders can enter the sweepstakes daily through November 21st. And you can find all the details, including the complete set of rules on our website, HoustonLife.tv. We've got some tuna tartare to dig into know, uh, in the next commercial break. Let's but first, we're